behind. Look at the back of this. Look at the footprints on the back of this pipe. That's oh, brilliant, wow. isn't it? Yeah. This is why we love UV. <laughs> so this customer has had a rat problem going on in here. We'll show you that in a minute. And we've been using tracking dust that the UV picks up to find out exactly how they were getting in that kitchen. Now, usually, usually it's not going to be coming from outside, but on this one, it bloody is. Let's have a look. If you look down here, Rick. So this vent here, you can see there's hardly any markings on there, but when we shine the light in, you picking those up. Can you see that bright pink down there? Yeah, you can. So take the UV away, put it on, UV away, put it on. And that's the same dust as what we've used down in the uh, in the kitchen. And Ricky will take you down and we'll have a look at that now. Be a case of, uh, so what we'll do, we'll block that up, uh, see what happens next week, see if there's any new footprints in the UV. We love UV. Then, so we're inside the same property we were just looking at uh, just now. And as you can see, you can't see anything down here at the moment. But as soon as we turn on the UV, you can see where we've put the tracking piles of tracking dust. You can see the occasional little footprint. You can see his tail swipe right there. That's a tail mark probably going down there. Um, but most of the... So, shall we have a look at how we know that it's that pipe that we've just shown upstairs? So, if we go underneath here, Rick, and you can show what's going on. So, there's the torch. And you can see in that corner there, that white thing's in the far corner. That's uh, that's the other end of that. Let me put it on with a normal lot so you can actually see. Um, so there it is, yeah. So that's the one end of it. Uh, and you can see the other end where the rats were getting in and out of from outside. So, so that's that problem sorted. But I also wanted to show people how this rat has been working. So. I think what we noticed up here, that we can see the footprints on the side up here. And then horribly, there's little footprints here, look. And then there's even footprints actually on the side of the frying pan. And then we follow the footprints, the pink look every time. And there's more three, three, thumbs, three fingers. And then just here, look. Now we were presuming that it's gone that direction. <laughs> but actually, when we've looked, you can see down there, you can see the footprints and they're traveling this direction towards me and then they go up onto that piece of piece of wire down the bottom then they've climbed from that wire onto the gas inlet pipe here and then they've climbed up the back of this look at the footprints on the back of this pipe that's oh, brilliant wow. isn't it yeah he's climbed up there. a monkey so he's climbed up that like a monkey put his hand on there lift his body up and then he's gone that way so and he's gone along there. Gone along it? here, another moat. So, drop down there. So, so this really does prove uh, that rats can climb. <laughs> In all the textbooks and stuff, they'll tell you that rats can't climb very well and things. But as you can see, the rats of the West Midlands, they certainly can climb. Because that one got that pipe, no problem whatsoever. Uh, another job that's nearly solved by the pest intercept. So. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.